Hello guys, welcome back to the series of tutorials on C++. I am Deepak Kunyal and in this tutorial I am going to discuss about type of inheritance. So in previous tutorial we talked about function overloading and function overriding. Now you might be confused and might ask me a question that we also discussed type of inheritance in previous few lectures. So what was that? So actually we discussed about private kind of inheritance, protected kind of inheritance and public kind of inheritance, right? If you remember it, you might be pointing out to it. So actually these are the modes of inheritance. So we talked about this only, right? Now we are going to talk about type of inheritance in such way that how one class can inherit another class. So we'll first take some examples of that so that you are able to easily understand that. So there are actually five kind of inheritance available in C++. So one is single inheritance. Another one is multiple inheritance. Third one is multi-level. Fourth one is hierarchical. And the final one is hybrid. You can also say that it's a virtual inheritance. In future, we will talk about virtual functions. So don't confuse this virtual with that virtual. You can simply call it hybrid inheritance, right? So till now you are aware that what is inheritance, right? Suppose there is a class A, which is a parent class. And now this is being inherited in another class. And you can call that derived class or maybe subclass or child class as per your wish, right? So it's basically talking about the way you are inheriting either one class or multi classes, right? So let's talk about single inheritance first. When we are talking about single inheritance, it means one class is being inherited from only one base class, right? So the example we took here right now is basically talking about single inheritance. Here we are inheriting only one base class. So this is called single inheritance. Now coming to another part when we are talking about multiple inheritance. So you might get confused between multiple and multi level sometimes, but you have to take care of this thing. So when we are talking about multiple inheritance, we are actually inheriting more than one classes. So you could have a class A and a class B and both these classes are parent classes, right? So I'm repeating again that these both are parent classes and you are inheriting these classes into another class, a C class maybe, right? So how can we write these things in programming? What you have to do you have to just write like this. So you could have a public class, which is C, then take care of these columns. And after that, you have to write access mode, which could be public, private or protected as per your wish. So I am just writing access mode here. Then I'll write the name of class that you are inheriting first. So it is A. And then after that, Again, put access mode and name of class B. Clear? Oh, I have made one mistake here. It's not public here. It's class. It should be class C, not public C, right? And it could be public, private or protected, anything that you want to make. Clear? So this is multiple inheritance. After that, we talk about multi-level inheritance. So when we are talking about multiple or multi-level, both are confusing sometimes, but please take care of this, that in multi-level inheritance, we are talking about a derived class. This is derived class. And this is again derived to some another class, right? So we can say that a derived class is being derived again. Or you can say that there is parent of B and B is also parent of some another class. 
clear so this is multi level it could go up to some more levels right so see it like this and implementing this thing is easier you have to just write this portion only this portion for one level and again you have to do same for another portion clear just you have to change b and c or a whatever uh, is the use case after that we are going to talk about hierarchical inheritance so what is hierarchical inheritance so in this case more than one subclass is inherited from a single base class so you can see here in multi level we are inheriting multiple classes in one class and now we are saying that a class is being inherited in multiple subclasses or derived classes so this is called hierarchical inheritance clear so it's easier to understand there is uh, nothing much difficult in this and finally talk about hybrid or virtual inheritance so as the name suggest it is combining more than one type of inheritance right so you can combine any of these four kind of inheritances together and then it will be a hybrid one right so let's write one example for that suppose you have class a and then you have a class b and you are inheriting both of these classes in c so it's basically talking about this kind of inheritance you have seen here so it's at this place multiple inheritance right you can again do one more thing here you can inherit b into c and you can again inherit b into some another class maybe d like this and if you look at this portion itself it is hierarchical inheritance right so you are using two kind of inheritances here you can again do few more things here you can inherit one more here maybe e right so on this side it will be multi level inheritance right so you can keep changing on these things and it will be a another kind of inheritance or we can say hybrid inheritance now one important thing that i am going to talk about here is although i will not completely discuss this thing here but it's very important and i will leave you with some questions here so when we are talking about multi level or multiple inheritance or hierarchical inheritance you can consider one example here suppose we have a class a and two classes are being derived from this a right and there is some function here we can say that there is a print function actually so when we are inheriting two classes from here it will have print function again right so till now there is no difficulty and everything is going fine but problem starts at another step and what is that another step there is a class d and this d class is inheriting both the classes b and c right and this d does not implement this print function because according to this thing it should get functions from both the above classes now it will have two versions of print print and print and now it is difficult or it's very ambiguous right so which version it will be calling can you guess that which version it is going to call so it's very difficult right because uh, there are two functions and they both have same names so one thing is that it should uh, override uh, one of the function or maybe it should uh, create or implement its own function then it will uh, not have any problem but if it is not implementing then it's a problem and this problem is called diamond problem in c++ or we can say that in multiple inheritance right the another name of this problem is deadly diamond problem so what it actually means 
it's basically about an ambiguity that arises when two classes B and C inherits from A and another class D inherits from both B and C. If there is a method in A that B and C have overridden but D does not override it, then which version of method is D going to inherit or implement? So it's an ambiguous situation here. I hope you are aware about this problem now. Now I request you to write your answer in the comment and tell me how to solve this problem. And let me wait for your answers. We will solve this problem in the next lecture or maybe in upcoming lectures using some features of object oriented programming of C++. All right. So I think this is enough for this lecture. If you have any doubt or any other query regarding inheritance, you can write your queries in the comments. I will try to respond back as soon as possible. So guys, see you in the next video with some new concept. Till then, thank you so much.